Okay, here we go. Uh, several people have been asking me. Uh, I'm running some kind of a business, printing parts on 3D printers, and wanting to know what I'm making other than just printing parts. And uh, so I promised I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm doing. Okay, these are some of the parts that I'm now printing. Um, with my print farm at this current location and the one that we're getting ready to uh, put together, uh, the secondary print farm. And the, the parts, they're basically, I think about 25 parts here that I print. And I'll go through them as quickly as I can to try to explain uh, what they are and so forth. Uh, this first part is a part, takes about six hours to print. And once it's, uh, there are actually three pieces to it. This little piece here and this piece also prints. Okay, the, um, as it's assembled, the electronics, the switches and so forth, uh, snap into the uh, holes in here. And then there's some wiring required. Then this cover goes over the back and covers it like you see here and you put a screw in there to hold it then this other little piece goes on top and it's a locking mechanism that actually locks the accessories into place now the accessories this is one of them it's a called a three port accessory it'll slide into a slot uh, there's a blank that can go in there as a filler because you have to have three of something in there at any time. Then you could put another piece in there. So this is the base unit for the helping hand. And uh, then, like I mentioned, the other parts, this filler is just a filler that goes in so that we can fill out and have three of these slots filled. This is a three port flex adapter. And what we have are several, we assemble several uh, flexible clamps. And these simply screw in to this. You put as many as three of them in there at any one time. And uh, Then there's also LED, uh, an LED light, a high-powered LED light that can screw in there. There's a magnifier that can screw in. Uh, this is a 90 millimeter round magnifying glass. Or there's a larger one here uh, that you can use uh, so you can see your work a little bit better. Um, so that's basically what that part is. There's a little wrench that we actually print that uh, helps you tighten these down or loosen them if they get too tight. And uh, then the next piece is this one right here. And this is actually uh, capable of doing a couple different things. One of the main things that we use it for is mounting this vise. And of course the vise, like all the other attachments, <coughs> can go in. This is for hard clamping. It also has ports on the side so that you can screw lights or clamps in there to go with that. Uh, the next device is this taller uh, piece that normally will go in the top position or the bottom position and it can hold a uh, large iPad or tab tablet or something here and we also have um, pieces that go in here for holding uh, uh, smartphones the next thing on the list is this little attachment here now this one go normally goes in the top position also let me put a 
back in here or something. It normally goes in the top position and it can hold a video camera or it can hold a tablet or iPad and uh, along with the other accessories. Now normally the iPad here a lot of times it's used with it's used with something like this microscope and um, we're thinking that it might be useful in a classroom environment where you configure it using this clamp device here to hold the, the microscope then you can put uh, you can put some lights in here if you want and anything that gets power simply plugs into one of these jacks. You have three ports there where you can get 12 volts DC to power these LEDs. And um, then the power switch here to turn them on and off. Then you can mount this on top. And the idea here is that you can add additional lighting or you can add additional clamps to uh, hold something in place. and for example, in a classroom environment, you can be dissecting something and have it displayed on the screen in a magnified uh, format, and you can even record it, record what you're doing. So there's a lot of possibilities with this, and we're thinking that that might fall more into the educational aspect. And I'm going to try to keep moving along here, so bear with me. Um, the, the next uh, device is this one. You just saw it holding the uh, uh, microscope, but it also has a lot of other uses. Uh, for example, in this case, we, um, we have a laser, and it would be normally turned this way, and you have two switches here. One of them turns on the LED lights and the other one turns on the laser. It's a crosshair laser for laying layout work, but you also have LEDs so you can use it to light the work area. So that's just another attachment that we have. We also have um, this other attachment that goes in there. And this device is for holding tools such as a Dremel tool. It can clamp down and hold a Dremel tool and have the grinding wheel going while you're uh, a hobbyist, maybe doing some grinding on a figurine or something. And uh, let's see. Another thing, and this is something that I actually use it for right here in this work area. I use it to hold a hot air gun because I'm doing a lot of heat shrink when I heat shrink these LEDs and so forth um, on here. So it will hold um, anything you can fit in here. It'll expand and clamp. And then um, moving on, that's one of the parts we do. And, then, uh, of course, this is the base for this LED unit that I was showing you. And then there's a cover to cover up the electronics part of it. We print that cover. Then this one uh, is for a single crosshair laser. And uh, we also have one of these that we print for an endoscope, a small micro. Uh, or not a microscope, but a small camera that 
is good for electronics work and it can also uh, send the video to a tablet on here as well. Uh, this part is actually, we print two of these and uh, once they're printed they interlock together and the screws then hold them together and they make up the frame for this magnifier. So that's how we uh, came up with the frame and of course then it mounts to our uh, flex arm. And uh, next we have this one of our newest things we've come up with. This is just a uh, shroud for directing airflow and this is a device that clamps to a fan. So we basically have an 80 millimeter fan here and we can attach it to one of these flex arms and have and plug it into our power on our unit here and be able to have air we can do it with or without the shroud and um, we can use it as a vacuum if you're soldering you can draw uh, air and fumes away from the soldering part or you can use it as a blower if you're gluing models or doing some kind of crafts where you're gluing or painting and want an airflow to help with the drying. So that's what that device is for. Then these other devices here uh, that we print, this piece and this one and this one are all part of a uh, different configuration um, and this, these little pieces here are the feet for this tabletop stand and it's for a tabletop version of the helping hand and these units this one is used for a table mount where you, you can on a workbench you can screw it down or you can wall mount it and it gives you a very stable version and can handle a lot of weight on that unit and then this one of course is the one you see here that has the supporting feet that just sits on the table top and it's very portable. Uh, the one I use is actually uh, this one right here and it's on a floor stand actually a boom and uh, I can move it around to wherever I need it and uh, position it it has a power switch here. You turn that on and you can uh, you can power the uh, yeah, let's see, it must be unplugged here. Well, I'm not getting any power to it. Oops. Okay, now we got power and of course you can see the LEDs can add light to your work area. Um, you have this 12 volt Dremel tool that'll do grinding of parts and so forth. They're all getting power from this uh, uh, power source here. Then you also have clamps that you can swing down here and uh, either the alligator type clamps or these plastic clamps to hold your parts in place. So this is the floor stand. So we basically have um, the helping hand and it comes, you can get it with a floor stand, you can get it with a scissors arm, boom. If you go to my video on the helping hand demonstration video, uh, you'll see the one that clamps to the uh, tabletop or you can have bolt down, wall mount, table mount, or you can have uh, the one that's uh, just portable that will sit on the table. So that's what I'm making as far as the helping hand. The um, uh, other parts that I'm printing for some other things, I'll get into that later. I hope I haven't bored you with this, but some people wanted to know uh, what kind of parts I'm making and what they're used for. So this is it. 
uh, right now I'm uh, printing quantities and building inventory of these and doing the assembly of the parts that require assembly and um, expect to have enough inventory by the time we get our my website set up where we can start selling and at that time uh, then we'll start uh, I want to have a pretty good inventory before I attempt to sell them. Uh, last thing in the world I want to do is um, try to sell a few of them and have 50 or 60 or 100 orders come in and not be able to keep up with them. So that's the what the print farm's doing and that's what my business is doing so far. And like I said, we have a couple other products, but I'll get into those parts and show you those at a later time. Thank you for watching.